Today, we're right behind my shipping container kiln behind the sawmill, near the scene of the crime, which happened right down here. It happened right down here, just a few days ago. A cougar attacked and ate a deer, which is what cougars do. I'm not talking about a 40-something woman type of cougar. I'm talking about a mountain lion type cougar. A puma, puma con color, big kitty with big, sharp, pointy teeth and claws. Let's go check out the scene of the crime. When I'm wandering into cougar country, I like to make sure Betsy's right here. I found the remains right down here on the other side of this tree that has a Douglas squirrel on it right now. Just ran around, there it goes. The unfortunate part of this story is I had my trail camera about 25 feet over there. When a cougar kills a deer, it's common for them to drag it down the hill a distance from where they killed it to a place where there's some shelter. I think there's a good chance the attack happened right up here where this road intersects with some game trails, which is why I put the camera up here. But just a few days before this happened, I moved the camera somewhere else because there wasn't anything interesting happening down here over the last few weeks. If I would have left it, we probably could have got some pictures of the cougar, maybe even got in on some of the action. Although from the deer's point of view, that might not be the most unfortunate part of this story. Let's go down the hill, I'll show you what I found. Hey look, a chain fern. Never mind that, we're not looking at ferns today. When a cougar makes a kill, one of the things they have to worry about is kleptopredation, which is a fancy word meaning animals like bears that'll come in and steal what they killed. Cougars don't like to eat the digestive systems, and especially the contents inside them. They're a smelly, nasty mess. Right here is where the cougar pulled that part out of the deer. There's a pile of sticks and duff here, and all around it there's about an eight foot diameter circle where the cougar scraped off the duff to bury that stinky, smelly part. I think the reason they do that is to try to contain the smell so it doesn't attract other animals like bears who might come and steal their catch. We'll go over there about 30 feet across the creek, or crick, depending on what you call it, and I'll show you what I found. Horse tails are all mashed down like something got drugged through it. This appears to be the place where the cat's dining occurred. It left all the gross smelly stuff over there, brought the good stuff over here to have its feast. For the next two, three days, this was probably a place for the cat to relax and enjoy some fine dining. There are bits of hair all over the place, a few of the maybe intestinal things that it didn't get out earlier. I would show you some of that, but it's kind of gross and YouTube gets a little funny about things sometimes. The cats don't like the digestive parts, but the bears don't mind them at all. After I discovered all this, I put the trail camera over by the stinky stuff. The next morning all of that was gone and I did get a couple pictures of a bear. Not very good pictures though, because there's just not enough room to put the camera far enough away to get good pictures may not have been entirely relaxing for the cat because I did find part of the rib cage up the hill. It could be a bear or something took that part of it away. Looked like a small rib cage, probably one of last year's fawns. This may be a gruesome story for some people, but I think it could be interesting for some people. I find it fascinating that there's an animal around here that could eat you. Cougar attacks are rare on humans, but they do happen. Well, there are too many mosquitoes and flies down here. Let's get out of here. After I got the pictures of the bear, I put the trail camera back up here. That night I did get a picture. It's not very clear, but it does appear to be the cougar. It's not the best picture. It's kind of eerie looking with the glowing eyes. I'll post it over on my community page. If you're subscribed to the channel, you'll be able to get a better look at it over there. The last few days, the camera's back to just getting the normal animals it would usually see. Deer, fox, possum, squirrel. I did get a coyote. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I'm guessing the cat has probably moved on now. Now things around here appear to be getting back to normal, at least for this fortunate doe. On behalf of myself and the deer, we hope to see you on the next one.